So this is this is the control room or machine room. Uh, these are the Brompton SX40s uh, in this rack right here at the end. Uh, so we have five active and one spare um, Tesla SX40 processors. Um, we have a lightware matrix to handle all the switching. Um, in this rack right here. So we don't fry the LED um, with having too much current at once. We come here and we turn on each 20 amp breaker one at a time. So we have all of these uh, Socapex cables. And each, each Socapex cable has uh, six circuits. So we'll turn on each circuit one at a time or three at a time. We just don't want all 2,500 amps to go from, you know, zero to a zero to full power. You can pop a breaker. So these LED panels, they have uh, they have beep codes so that you can try to troubleshoot what's happening. So this one has no data, so we'll plug its data back in. And now it has data, so now it's solid. Um, we can do this one. This one um, has no power, <laughs> so it's just off. Sometimes though, it'll turn red if it has no data coming from the fiber box. So see they're red right now? That's because it has no data coming from the power from the fiber box right here. So this is all the fiber that connects to the machine room. And this fiber comes into our XD boxes from Brompton. And then from the XD box, it splits out over Cat 6A to all the LED panels. And so you can see um, what ports are here. So we have seven physical Cat6 um, copper ports, and we have one fiber line coming in, one 10G fiber line over a uh, single mode fiber. Um, so you can see these are all different fiber connections, and these are along the whole length of the wall spread out. So we, we spread out the fiber boxes to try to minimize the length that the all the copper Cat6 cable has to go. But when we're setting up the stage here, you can see in the KVM, we have uh, nodes 101, 102, 103, 104, and 105. Um, that's the render nodes for this, this stage. And so if we connect to node 101, you can see I'm on the wall over there, the cursor's up there. So the first thing we want to do is set up our gen lock. So I can go into here. Uh, no, because it's it's on that node. Okay. This one is the one that's daisy chained into that machine towards Genlock. So when we go to synchronize displays, we want to say that Genlock's the control room, the machine room back there. It feeds into this rack. This is our stage rack. So this is where all the the networking patches into the Genlock patches into a DA. Uh, and this is also where our Stipe computer lives. So we'll just turn on the Stipe machine. Is it fiber between the machine room and here? Uh, we're actually doing Cat 6A. Okay. These are some of the newest panels on the market, the Black Pearl version two. So these are um, fairly modern looking for that reason. And it has magnets and so if we're putting a new one in we would give this to the guy on the other side of the wall and then when we put the new one in we just try to line it up and then it clicks in and then um that's it oh so each square panel is made up of four yeah the cinematic look is anywhere from five six to like two eight uh depends on the lens you know i don't like when the background is too blurry because it's, it looks fake. You look like you're, you're sharp and then everything's blurry behind you and it looks like a bad green screen from the 80s, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So you want a nuanced sense of depth of field. You wanna feel focused, sharp on the eyeballs and then you want the medium objects to be slightly blurry and then you want the distant objects to be more blurry. And if you can get those three focal planes going, then it really sells the dimensionality of the piece. 
The other way you sell dimensionality is when you do a move and things parallax a little bit. You see how those benches in the midfield parallax when I move, right? That yeah. really sells the eye as three dimensionality, right? Yeah. So look for columns, do your composition where you can have a midfield object to be moving in a different speed than the background object. Also mm. just look for a focus, right? These are all ways that make the wall trick the eye and sell it. Volume? Oh, boom. See how that wall just washes the heck out, yeah. right? Okay, so that's spill. That's that's what's bad. That's why you use snap grids so that it keeps it in a, in a channel. And then that's also why you would put like a four by floppy and all of that. Now, I don't need the light that bright, but I wanted to see you what, just you saw the goalpost when you go past, okay? So now crank that down to 50%. See, now the panels are holding at 50%. It's spilling on there, but the brightness of the wall is overpowering the spill right but we still get a little bit of a little bit of noise in there so now take it down to uh 40 percent okay now go ahead and turn it off so now do you see when i turn it off a lot of times when you're lighting set one light set your key light and then add your other lights if i had access to that i would turn that light off when i add my side light so you see exactly which light is playing where move a light before you add a light. Most people just paint themselves into a corner by putting up light and then another light and another light and then it's a soupy hot mess, right? It's way more important to get the angle right than to add a light. Look left. Oh yeah. Perfect. Nice. Okay, cut that one. Yeah, we definitely got one in there, right? So do a couple where you're jogging. Just so like at the same pace as you were in that uh, in that previous stop shot stop yeah stop, stop just a hair before the mark yeah. yeah and then just and then, do a do a rocky yeah and then give me one of these you know uh, I need rocky. Do a rocky. <laughs> <laughs> state of that should be we should have we should have the chairs a little bit over here come over just a little bit more so that that archway kind of comes over into the middle we'll put the chairs there and I'll be on them here and they'll enter from this side of the camera right and then turn that way and we'll pan with them as he walks out that way yep okay thanks I had a quick demo of it out this way and go for a run Whatever it is, or go for a box, go fight the fountain. Fight the fountains, dude. All right. <laughs> okay, ready? And action. One more. Let's, uh, let's try half speed. Half speed? 